Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Black Hand, who happens to be the member's pick of the month. He made his very first appearance in Green Lantern Volume 2, issue number 29, that was released in June of 1964. His real name is William Hand, and he's a human male that stands 5 feet 7 inches tall and weighs 165 pounds, typically having grayish blue colored eyes, although sometimes they appear as brown, and always having black hair. Now, there's a few different ways that you can explain Black Hand, but generally speaking, he's considered the Avatar of Death, aka the Herald of Necron himself. He's also the very first Black Lantern ever. Being the original quoter of the Black Lantern Oath, the blackest night falls from the skies, the darkness grows as all light dies, we crave your hearts and your demise, by my black hand the dead shall rise. This crucial quote actually hints at some of the massive powers that Black Hand has, particularly his Black Power Ring derived ability to resurrect the dead which naturally makes them a part of the Black Lantern Corps and by default makes him their physical leader. Black Hand also has a form of healing factor, being able to regenerate damaged tissues and greatly increasing his power levels by killing those around him and taking their energy for his own. That's not even counting the fact that originally he could use a device called a Cosmic Divining Rod to directly absorb the energy of Green Lantern power rings. But nowadays, he just recharges his black battery using the hearts of his victims. Black Hand can also see the emotional spectrum or alignment of beings around him, and he's actually a foe of any of the emotional spectrum other than black, seeing as how the black is the only one that represents the absence of emotion and life. And finally, to top everything off, Black Hand has the uncanny ability to seemingly reanimate himself from a death-like state his Black Lantern Ring and Necron preventing him from ever having a true demise. Now, William Hand grew up in a family that ran a funeral home. As a young boy, he would display an extreme preoccupation with death itself, which would eventually trouble his family and make him become the black sheep of his brothers. When William got older, he would eventually be sought out by the powerful leader of the Red Lanterns named Atrocitus who was seeking out the being who was supposed to be the doorway to absolute darkness and help him fight against his foes, the Guardians of the Universe. Atrocitus actually attacks William, thinking that this black power was inside of his body to be taken. But this attack was stopped by Green Lanterns, Hal Jordan, and Sinestro. And during the confusion, William would take off, but not before a strange voice that whispered to him told him to take the weapon known as the Cosmic Divining Rod. Now, this wasn't the first time that he had heard these strange whispers, and it wouldn't be the last, seeing as how we now know that he was being groomed by the embodiment of death, Necron. This voice would gradually take complete control over William's mind, leading him to completely give himself over to the cause of death and to resent all of the Green Lanterns, seeing as how they upset the balance of darkness and death. William would ultimately give in to the voice and take the life of his own family and himself, at which point the Black Guardian Scar would arrive on the scene, proclaiming that the self-sacrifice was good and regurgitating the very first Black Power Ring, which reanimated William as the true Black Hand. He would soon command a vast army of the living dead, waging war against the various cores of the emotional spectrum and leading Necron's full-on assault of Earth during the Blackest Night event, even commanding many undead heroes who had returned as Black Lanterns. The Green Lanterns and various other cores would team up against the Black Lanterns as they tried to destroy the white entity that was hidden on Earth. And although Hand would be defeated this first time, he'd be resurrected by the white entity and taken in by the Indigo tribe, although he would escape their influence and take his life again rather than be brought back into their fold. Of course, his Black Lantern ring would reanimate him, and he'd go on to be Necron's avatar on several subsequent occasions, each time threatening to bring more death and destruction. Dude was so savage that on one occasion, he would even replace his own hand with that of Green Lantern Hal Jordan's dead father, swearing to get vengeance on Hal by taking him out with his own father's hand. And despite briefly showing the massive effects of his unique power by resurrecting the beings trapped in the source wall itself, this flex was short-lived due to some unforeseen ill side effects, and Hand would eventually be trapped in the source wall himself. But 
not for long. Now, due to his powers and abilities and his influence on the DC Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Black Hand a rating of 9, which is an epic rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.